Hey guys, and welcome to another arcade quick look. And this time we're going to take a look at a game called Kairos or Kairos no Yakata in Japanese, which I think roughly translates to the Halls of Kairos or something like that. And it's a game that was developed and published by Alpha Denshi in 1986. And it's an overhead beat em up where you need to punch the living daylights out of tons upon tons of more or less weird enemies. And you're controlling the hero known as Mac equipped with a pair of rad shades and two fists that are always ready to explode. You can also pick up weapons to make life easier. And you also need to save a bunch of kids that are trapped in mirrors for some weird reason. Not sure why. Oh, and you can also turn into a shirtless version of yourself, simply called Macho Man. It's all a bit weird to be honest, but also very much tongue in cheek and quite a lot of fun actually. And I'm not entirely sure who directed or who designed the game. I know that the design credit goes to Pop House and Kinichi Sakanishi, but I think that is the graphical design and not necessarily the game design. And I'm not entirely sure what Pop House refers to. Maybe it's a Japanese company and uh, I do know that they made some of the graphics, not all of them. I think most of them were done by Sakanishi-san. And I haven't actually been able to find much information about Sakanishi-san. I do know that he was involved in several other arcade games like Aggressors of Dark Combat, Magician Lord, Sky Adventure and Time Soldiers. But beyond that I haven't really been able to find any information about this guy. <laughs> I don't know what that weird sound effect is. The first one is a laughter, the other one is sounds like a duck being tortured or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's a bit weird, but then again the entire game is a bit weird. And I have played it a bit already and um, yeah, it's a decent amounts of fun I have to say. And I should also mention that this is emulation and there are two ROMs uh, that are not correctly dumped and I don't know exactly what that means but they're are definitely some issues with this game but I'm not entirely sure what the issues are if it's only later levels or if there are subtle problems in the gameplay. Don't really know but let's insert some coins and go find that laughing dude. And why is that skeleton dude flashing me? <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> He's showing me his bones and I know I made that joke in the SD version as well. But here we are and we can punch diagonally, that is awesome! And it is oddly satisfying punching these guys! And we can also jump, which means we can jump over mines, unless of course we land right on top of them and blow up. But hey, it's the thought that counts. Yeah, I'm, I'm not that good at the game, I've only played it a bit. Let's try that again. That worked better. And here's these, here's these weird flying guys. Yeah, it's just so satisfying punching them. Take it, you filthy enemies. Let's free some kids. I don't know what they are doing inside of that mirror, but yeah, they are for some reason stuck in there. And these fire dudes, and the enemies are a little bit weird. I mean, there's normal bad guys, and then there's these fire breathing demons or whatever that are quite tough and they've got heads that look like um, fries from McDonald's. <laughs> I don't know why I think that but a little bit maybe. Oh man, that is something I do a lot. I just stand in one spot and try to reach enemies and end up not reaching them because I haven't really figured out how far I can punch it would seem. But yeah, it's it, this is actually fun and weird and, and cheesy <laughs> so I, I like this. Let's see if we can hit this guy with a... Oh, pot! No, get away from me! Get, get away! Oh! Ah, oh, yeah, that... I love those pots, they are super effective. Punch in the back. And we've got fire-breathing statues and heads and stuff. Let's go punch some... I was gonna say kids, but no, we're gonna punch a, a portrait of the head vampire and... Ah! Oh, and then kids come out. No, don't! Oh, you filthy, filthy. Yeah, now we turn into Macho Man and he looks even more macho than Mac. Let's see if we can maybe use the jump function. 
a bit. Oh, don't jump into the water. I don't think that is good. But now we've got boomerangs and oh, ball. Come on. Oh, and then they just jump on top of me and completely yeah, no. annihilate me. Enemies will actually, what do you call it? call it? Like just fall on top of you and murder you. There's a whole bunch of people. Let's just see if we can jump. I think that we can do that. Come on, punch, punch, punch the demons. Filthy demons. And we've got boomerangs and just, just, oh God, get away, get away. And I do love the fact that we can punch open doors and I think we can punch. Oh, no, punch the, uh, the clock as well out here. I think it gives us points and freezes the enemies. So now I can cheese them. Let's free some more kids. I don't know if the kids actually give you just points or sometimes they can give you some sort of upgrades or well maybe not upgrades but some things happen sometimes and sometimes enemies are turned into uh, treasure chests and I'm not sure if it's the kids or it's the power up icons. Yeah um, again yeah this is just so satisfying I just really like this. Initially when I saw the game I was like this looks pretty damn wonky and the graphics still look a bit weird. Oh yeah the dogs! Let's see if we can get them to grab me. Oh you can't see because they will drag you around they will just bite your sleeves and then drag you around it just looks so cool. <laughs> There's lots of these little neat touches that I just like about the game. Never played this back in the day never ever uh, but I think it would have been pretty okay with it if I just uh, taken the plunge and spent a coin with it but I mean it does look weird a little bit wonky and it's also a bit tricky but you kind of get slowly better at it and yeah but it will eat some initial coins Jesus Christ roll roll I'm not pressing space there because I've been playing the 8-bit versions let's see if we can get the dogs to yeah you can see they drag you around that's so cool it's just a neat little touch I love that Get in here quickly! Oh no, don't! Oh no, they just come. Oh, look at him, he's just sitting on top of me, banging me in the head. Bastard! <laughs> oh, banging in the head, that sounds a bit rude. I mean, punching me in the head, sorry. Got a bit carried away there. <laughs> oh, look at this guy without a shirt. Come on, get away from me. I'm the only one that's allowed to not have a shirt on here. Oh, come on, jump, jump, man! I don't know how you're supposed to escape this. Ah. Uh... Get away from me, you naked person! Oh, I'm just... Oh god, I just can't reach some, some of the enemies. They're just, just a tiny bit too far away. Oh, could you please roll? Rolling, or jumping rather, is pretty good. Allows you to get out, get out of the way, I think. A little bit more effectively. And now we've got bombs, or whatever this is. So let's just kill some of these poor dogs. No, don't! Oh, that's, that was pretty satisfying. Uh, no, no, don't get away from me! <laughs> Save the kids! Save the kids! That's a weird sound effect again. So we're back outside with the mines, see if I can... Yeah, I can uh, jump over them. And, oh, these knights are such pricks. I mean, really, they are. I'm just going to get out of here. Oh, come on. Sometimes the game isn't entirely fair. <laughs> it will just annihilate you. Just get get away, get away, get away, get it. Oh yeah, you can't just jump past all the enemies like you can in the uh, home conversions. But of course we have a bunch of continues here. And oh god, I'm not sure if I can murder these knights. Maybe I can't. Yeah, the game gets super tricky rather quickly. Maybe we should try and punch this guy instead. Just go away, fire face, move, jump. Jesus, kick the door, get, jeez. Yeah, it's, it's tricky. But again, it's just something about the gameplay that I just like and wh who the hell are you anyway? You water dude or something? Uh, uh, let's try and see if we can jump past these guys and take teleport, get away from me. Get, get away, get. Uh, sometimes you do get stuck in the doorways, which is a bit annoying. Let's take the teleport, go away, go away. Leave me alone, please. Ah, more dogs. Can I? Ah, the dogs are dangerous. 
but they're pretty cute. Ah, uh, just stop it! You, ah, uh, you filthy canine! Let's see if we can punch this. Oh, ah, uh, cool! We can actually punch a hole in the fence. Don't think that was in the home conversions. Ah, uh, I, I just keep trying to punch the enemies where I should just try and jump around and try and get away from this mess. And this, uh. Oh, it's boss time, yeah. These flying heads, they are... I haven't reached them before. I think this is the pervy skeleton that, that flashes me at the beginning of the game. And yes, he's... This is pretty quick, or fast. I mean, how am I supposed to... Mm. Okay, that's another life wasted. Suppose we could go inside here and grab that power-up. Oh yeah, here's some, some ladies of the night with their wavy hands. Yeah, the enemies are certainly varied. Let's go into the boss room and... What the hell are you doing in here? Go away. No, don't, don't. Please, just leave me alone. Why are you in here? Stop, stop it. Go away. Ah. Oh. Yeah, okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm... Mm. And then they just start humping me, every single one of them. It's just not easy to get out of that. Go oh, I was going to try and jump there, but that didn't work. Go away and just get the boss in here, please. Ah, oh, it's so hard to time the... the punches here. I'm not entirely sure. Can I... Ah... Oh. This is really hard. I think I need to play this game a bit more to... figure stuff out. It's so hard to reach these guys, you filthy monsters! Why are you doing this to me? Come on, puke! Puke your fire! Ah, They're so damn fast! How am I supposed to do this? Am I getting them? Ah, got you! Oh, he's back again! He's back again! And sometimes it looks like they just get you immediately the moment you get up. I'm not close enough to hit them most of the time. And when they're close enough they will gang up on me and puke fire at me, so that is... Ah, oh, maybe there's a specific moment I should try and punch them? I'm sure someone can answer in the comments. And will let me know how bad I am at this. Ah, oh, I'm pretty sure I hit you there, but apparently nope. I got you, filthy. Yes. Oh, we need to hit them several times. Oh, brother. This is gonna suck. Oh, man. Okay. Okay, it's going slightly better. I need to be faster. Maybe not move about so much. But if I don't move, I get barbecued. Which is, trust me, not good for my health. Oh, brother. Come on, die. Yeah, you filthy head. I've got you now, maybe. Unless, of course, you just keep running away from me. Oh, okay. No more, please don't. No, no, no. Don't. Oh, you f filth monger. Oh, God. What is this? Sandwiches? Bats that turn into sandwiches? I'm not sure. Uh, could you not? Yes! 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 I got you! Congratulations. Let's try. Let's try to next stage. That's some English going there for you. Ah, yes. Thank God for continues, right? And now we get some bombs. What the hell are you? <laughs> What's that? Was that a kid? I'm not sure. I don't think so. Maybe a dwarf or something. Uh, oh, man. There's mines inside? Really? Okay. Fair enough, I suppose. Sadly, the enemies do not trigger the mines. I would have liked that. Oh, okay. What's that? Not sure what's going on there. Can I grab that? Yes, I can. I'm just gonna leave. It's gonna kick the door. Oh, what the hell is that? I have no idea. Is that a girl in a dress or oh, yeah? Oh, it's, yeah, it's a dress. It looked a bit strange. Um, yeah, all right. I'm sorry, girls. 
for being a little bit excessively violent here. But you are a bit hostile, admittedly. What's this? I'm not sure. Let's just take this tele... Could you please get it, get away, please? No, don't drag me into the mine, you stupid dog! Oh, man. Oh, brother. Yeah, come on. Let's punch the... Um... Oh, and I just missed. I keep doing that. Oh, man. Yeah, well, I think we're going to call it quits. But, yeah, this... I really like this. This is a lot of fun. It may look a bit wonky, but, yeah, give it a shot. It's actually... Very satisfying punching these guys in the face. We're going to have a look at some of the home conversions, or at least all of the home conversions, I should say, that I know of. And weirdly enough, they renamed the game to uh, Desolator instead of Kairos. Not sure why. But yeah, let's uh, check him out. The Amstrad version has colorful graphics, but they are very pixelated. They have also replaced the scrolling with flip screen, which sometimes forces you to end a screen prematurely because you accidentally end up too close to the uh, top of the screen. Can be a bit annoying. Sound effects are kept to a minimum and are not adding much beyond annoyance. Enemy AI seems mostly random and the enemies just keep running around in circles like headless chickens, which ends up destroying the little gameplay there is. An underwhelming effort that ends up feeling like a lazy effort by the devs. The best home conversion is probably the SD version, but that's not a very high accolade. It looks nice, almost better than the arcade actually, but as for the rest of it, not very impressive and feels like a pretty lazy effort. Gameplay is slow and doesn't in any way capture the arcades. Sound effects also gets old very quickly. If the devs would have had some more time to put into this one, it could have been really decent. The C64 version is colourful and less blocky than the Amstrad version. Sound effects and music is also much better, but it's not exactly pushing the limits of the SID chip. This version has proper scrolling, but unfortunately you have to be way too close to the top of the screen to activate it, which often means you can't see oncoming enemies. Gameplay feels more satisfying than the Amstrad version, but it's still lacking. It's also a bit tricky to hit enemies sometimes, introducing even more frustration. Even though the Spectrum version's graphics are completely monochrome, it still manages to look closest to the arcade of all of the 8-bit versions. The main sprite does however look very similar to the bad guys, which causes a fair amount of confusion. The gameplay is a decent approximation of the arcades and sometimes feels decent, but it's also slow and feels stiff and clunky. But I would still have to say that the Spectrum version is the best of the 8-bit versions, even after taking these sound effects into consideration. Thank you.